So, Butter Knight, Dragon Hammer, and welcome back to Umi Nako Jiro, Episode 8. Now then, I do believe we got through the majority of the quizzes. Apparently, I somehow got, I think, most of them right. And all we have left now, I believe, is Beato and Battler's riddle. Or, quiz. Or, something. But, um... I'm surprised how many I was actually able to get right by just pure bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I imagine theirs are going to be the hardest. I loved every bit of it. I rub my eyes. I must have gotten really excited, but whenever I get excited, I'm always tired afterwards. Right now, I'd rather have a sofa to lie on than medals. Oh, oh god, that is so cute. Onichan and Bat and Beato laughed at my yawn. Oh. Okay. I was expecting to run into another one. Okay. I'm just so, so sleepy. Angie drifted over to a chair in the corner of the room and plopped down it, onto it. Then she closed her eyes, looking like a doll sitting there. It didn't take long before the cute sound of her breathing in her sleep could be heard. When she saw that Angie was finally asleep, Beato spoke softly. Mina, Shizuka, Angie ga nemutta zo. When she spoke, the peaceful clatter that filled the room fell silent. Everyone looked down into Angie's sleeping face. Each of them wore an affectionate gaze, as if they just watched a baby finally drift asleep. Benji-chan, 
今夜のパーティーのことを思い出しそれがどれほど楽しかったかをかみしめてくれるであろうそうだな私たちもエンジェちゃんと遊べて楽しかったわ。That was honestly extremely enjoyable for me. By this point, everyone was standing in a wide circle around Angie as she slept. Now that the guest of honor was asleep, this Halloween party reached a conclusion. ごまんなる暴君と記憶してくれてもよいだが、たまには目に入れてもいたくないほどに可愛がっていたことも思い出しておくれ思い出しますともエンジェさんあんたの人生は長い十二年を経てもまだまだ長いその人生が有意義なもの
Definitely. エンジェル、忘れるんじゃないぜ。自分も幸せも運命も忘れきっと伝わったと信じます。いや。だといいけど。僕とお嬢様の物語は絶対にエンジェ様にそれを伝えています。うん。ジョージ様も何かお言葉をかけられてはどうですか僕から伝えたい言葉もあのびっくり
Aller grasped Angie's hand and took Ava's hand and joined the two hands together. そして、エヴァおばさんにそれでもなおエンジェのために自分の悲しみに耐えてほしいと頼むのも酷な話だった。そなたもどちらも悪くはない。I can agree with this. だからと言って、お前に何かを許せと。だからせめて、ただ分かってやってくれ。時間がかかってもいい。どれだけ未来でもいい。エヴァおばさんのことを分かってやってくれ。そしてたまには俺たちのことも。思い出してくれ。わらわのことまであるぞ。As <laughs> do I. bitterly, apparently disagreeing with some of that last bit. Eva softly stroked Angie's cheek and spoke one last time. Eva wiped her eyes and slowly stood up. Hideyoshi held her shoulder, and Rudolph and Kirie gathered around her too. ゲンジさん、エンジェを横になれるところに運んでやってくれるか。かしこまりました。ゲストハウスでよろしいですか。ゲストハウスに一人ぼっちでは気の毒が過ぎよう。そうだな。客間のソファーにお願いできるか。も
よくお休みになっておりますここでの騒ぎは客前は届かぬか The noise from here. はい扉も閉めておりますし客間には届かないと思いますエンジェいい夢見ろよさーってんしんみりしたお別れ会はこれまでであるぞさあここからは盛大に行こうぞ二次会だ OK Uh, uh, okay. When Beato clapped her hands loudly above her head, a white flash filled the hall, and its entire appearance changed in an instant. The hall had transformed into a golden party chamber, with gold butterflies flitting about and gold leaf dancing everywhere. So, ここからはにぎやかに行こうではないかそういうことだな。さあ、もうハンマホの毒素は一切なしだぜみんな、入ってきてくれ。俺たちの。お疲れ様パーティーの始まりだぜおぉ、oh oh! With a burst of applause and cheering, a tornado of gold butterflies rose up in the center of the room. By the time it passed, the number of faces had grown significantly. Gonna bring in all my favorites. Yes! そして過去の私たちにはねぎらいを。ですねでございますな今宵は我らも楽しませていただきましょうあ、You guys have been looking forward to seeing again 今宵に限らずいつも楽しんでおったではないか<笑>世の中万事は楽しんだ者勝ちでございますよさあ、七姉妹もいらっしゃい Yes, bring them in! 煉獄の七姉妹、ここにもうこれでゲームが終わりなんて<笑> Good Lord. 二次会で泣かないのこの泣き虫バトラ教、ベアトリッチ様、お招きを感謝します。エルーベアフゴ<laughs> of course you do. <laughs> That dude's already taken, by the way. You don't want to piss off Beato. You got that right. Then just scream Bea Torichi. That's the loudest noise you could possibly make, dude. Oh! Holy shit, even the Chiesa sisters! Another gold cyclone rose up. In its wake, three people with bunny ears came into view. Excellent! ご無沙汰ね。すごいわ。これだけ揃うのはいつ以来かしら
Hmm. Been a while. No, that was less than fun. Yes! It wouldn't be a party without you two! An unprecedented amount, actually. ね。ドナー。お招き預かり光栄です。金券光栄なるものと知りたて祭るものなり。おう。YouTube <笑>元気です。あなたたちと戦っている時が一番です。反抗心はもうやりたくないです。金券、上司ドラノール、決済箱は山積みであると知りたまえ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh? Hmm? Donor held out an envelope. It was one of the invitation cards that Battler had handed out for this night's party. The name on the card was Furudo Erika. Aw, she couldn't come? The invitation was filled with stamps bearing the unreadable words of various foreign countries. Even without reading them, it was easy to guess that it had been returned to sender, destination unknown. Darn it. True. うん。一応あの魔女どもにも招待状は送った。あ、いいね。気を引き寄せて連れてきてくれりゃいいんだな。うん。I not to mention, I think she might be pissed at you, Battler, possibly, maybe. <laughs> Aha! I knew it! I think you were. Ah, welcome. For someone who just dropped by because she was in the neighborhood, she bought an awful lot of colorfully wrapped bottles and food boxes. True. Intense levels of hell. Fair enough. Might come to regret the decision, but fair enough. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to 
いろいろあったからだからあの子を責めないであげて本当は感謝するつもりだったいろいろあったがお前がいなかったら今日を迎えられなかったと感謝しようと思ってた That is also true. ありがとう今度あの子に会えるのがいつかはわからないけれど運が良ければ数百年後にはまた会えるわその時伝えてあげるそうそうそれはそうと招待状はないんだけれど今日はお客を連れてきたわ Oh, who'd you bring? 客誰だ心当たりには軒並み招待状を送ったつもりだったんだがいらっしゃい二人とも紹介するわ<gasps> yes! Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> yes! Thank you! When Lambda snapped her fingers, the empty air exploded and two forms appeared. Apparently, also my own lungs exploded. Holy shit! Yo, <laughs> ま奇跡的確率の世界でのみ生まれる後ろ宮家の次期投資よ I never thought I would see this interaction そこではジェシカは一人っ子じゃないミオンの妹なのよそりゃ驚いたそんな世界があるのかもしやあなたはおはじめましてベアトリーチェ私はあなたのことをよく知っていますよ。Because I am you。私にとって、あなたが幸せな笑顔を浮かべることは、な今夜を迎えられたあなたを、私は誰よりも祝福します。How the hell did you escape? I thought Burns cats devoured you! そなたなのか。よくぞ。来てくれた。Beato realized who and what Leon was. The two of them stared at each other's faces as though looking at their own face in a mirror. I am Wilado. I am the one who is not aware of the game. I am the one who is not aware of the game. Detectingly, I already know about that other game, but okay. I am the one who is not aware of the game. I am the one who is not aware of the game. I am the one who is not aware of the game. So, God. Yes, she has great choices and friends, apparently. Oh, so you technically saved them. You mean Augustus? I mean, Featherine? Hmm. Okay. You really love tormenting her, don't you? you <laughs> しょうわるなことを考えて連れてきたってことは理解したぜ。私の手土産はこれで終わり。あとはのんびりくつろがせてもらうわ。じゃあ、あとはホストのあんたに譲るわね。さあ、バトラ教。お。あなたで告げなき
。よせえい、それ。<笑>なんか、恥ずかしい。<笑>妻の大事な仕事であろうが。Exactly! わわせはせん。<笑>ベート s u l k e d and handed the battler a glass of champagne. Come to think of it, everyone had a glass in their hands now. マリアは子供なんだから、ジュースにしなさい。You're too young! Hora, Maria c h a m o b o k t o o s o r o i n o j u i c e n i s i o b a t o r a n u r u k u n a t i m o z o d o k a n d e a r u n a Hajime, y o b a t o r a i g i w a r i m a s e n s o k o c h i r a e d o z o b a t o r a k i r o n a v e motioned towards the center of the room. When the battler stepped forward, everyone silently awaited his words. よく集まってくれたな。みんな、長かった俺とベアトのゲームは、これで全ておしまいだ。これまで、コマとして、プレイヤーとして、あるいは、ゲームマスターとして関わってきたみんなを、今宵は招待させていただいた。どうか明けぬ夜を、存分に楽しんでほしい !Cheers! Everyone raised their glasses to the heavens as they cheered, and afterward, the soft sound of glasses clinking together rang out across the room. That's a shame Erica couldn't join. Oh well. Oop.、Oh. Only I was apart from all that fun noise. Maybe that was what did it. Before I realized it, my cheeks were wet with tears. I was lying on the sofa covered by a blanket. I can just barely remember getting sleepy and falling asleep in a chair. Someone probably carried me here. I can't actually hear them, but I get the feeling that everyone's still in the hall having a good time. <clears throat> I want to go there too. No, I will go. Over there. It's what I've wanted the whole time, but I've never tried to take the first step. I'll go to where everyone is. My head still feels hazy, so there aren't any complicated thoughts in my mind. But that's okay. It's okay if my head's empty. I'll be together with everyone. I'll go to where they are. That's all that matters. I got up from the sofa and put on my shoes. Let's go. To where everyone is. <clears throat> oh, great. The parlor door was shut. I tried to open it, but maybe because of my clumsiness, I couldn't get it open. It was a bit creepy, as though the bad dream I just had was continuing. My mood grew darker and darker. The knob that locks or unlocks is on this side. If I twist it, I should be able to lock or unlock it. I turned it. Click. The door won't open. Did I accidentally lock it just now? I turned it. Click. The door won't open. It didn't open the last time, so it should have opened this time. I didn't have a clue how I'm supposed to turn it to unlock the door. I kept on alternating between turning the lock and roughly twisting the doorknob. I began to get irritated, wondering why they'd locked me away behind such an inconvenient door. Eventually, I ran out of patience and pounded hard on the door, but that noise didn't bring anyone over. Why am I locked up in a place like this all alone? And everyone else is having a fun party right there in the hall. Let me out of here! At that moment, a cold wind blew past me. The wind rippled through my hair. Wind? Inside? I turned around to find the window curtain waving about. There was a sound like scraping or crying. At some point, the double window had opened outwards toward the darkness. The icy wind that came through it told me that this window was the only exit from this room. Oh. Huh? I suddenly realized that the darkness beyond the open window was glaring at me, and my heart leapt. A cute sound rang out. I finally understood. That sound was a cat's bell. The glaring emerald eyes in the darkness were those of a cat standing in the open window. It's pitch black. The luxuriant fur left only the eyes visible, blending in with the darkness easily. Did the Ushidamea family own a cat? It has a bell on it, so it can't be a stray. It's a cat someone owns. It's Burn. At any rate, the cat was standing by the window and staring straight at me. Of course, the cat didn't answer my question. I didn't think it was a cute cat, 
but I thought it might be trying to tell me something. So I approached it slowly. Then the cat didn't about face, turning its back to me. And then it turned its head to look at me, almost as though it was telling me to follow it. And it leapt down into the darkness, leaving the jingle of its bell behind. When I peeked out the window, I saw the cat waiting for me under the pounding rain. I finally realized this window was the only exit out of this closed room parlor. That cat surely has surely come to tell me that. The longer I kept standing around here, the longer that cat will have to wait in the rain. That's no good. It'll catch cold. I climbed up onto the windowsill and went out to the window. The wind was strong, and the rain was cold, but I didn't get as wet as I thought I would. would. I might have been in the mansion's shadow. When the cat saw that I was outside, it walked along the wall of the mansion as if guiding me. It quickly disappeared into the blackness, but every now and then it would turn around and set the bell jingling to let me know it was there. Eventually, a window with light seeping out came into view. What the hell is this music? It was the window to the hall. When I peeked inside, I saw everyone having a good time. I couldn't hear their voices, but they were all right there. I feel like this is supposed to symbolize something. Like, this is basically, I'm thinking, symbolizing the fact that Angie really can't get to her family because they're in a place that she can't go to, I think. I think that's what this is symbolizing, I think. Maybe the window was really thick, or maybe it was just noisy inside. Or it might have been so dark outside that I blended in with the darkness. In any event, no matter how much I hit the window, it didn't look as though anyone noticed. By this point, my loneliness was giving way to anger. Why didn't you why don't you notice me? Why'd you lock me up in that room all alone? I've had enough. I'll just get inside somehow and yell at everyone. When the cat realized that I had given up knocking on the window, it led me onwards with another jingle. What are you doing, Burn? Just where is this cat going? I know it's following the wall of the mansion, but that's not the way to the front door. The front door might be locked. I'm sure the cat knows a place that I can get into the mansion from and is leading me there. Away from the light seeping from the hall and towards the blackness lit only dimly by the lights in the garden, the cat and I continued to walk. Then I found it. An open window. The cat stood below it and looked between me and the window as though telling me to go inside. When I walked closer to pick the cat up, it slipped away from my hands and flew into the bushes in the nearby flower bed. Then, as though it really had melted into the darkness inside the bush, all traces of it vanished. No matter how much I strained my ears, I couldn't hear the sound of that bell. Suddenly, the wind changed directions, and the rain started to hit me fiercely. I can't stay in a place like this forever. I climbed up onto the windowsill and entered the room. Then the window silently shut and locked itself. Good. That saves me the trouble of doing it myself. You're not going to question that the window just locked? Okay. The room was completely dark. However, as my eyes got used to the darkness, I was able to make out a few things. There was a large room. There was a t long table and many chairs. It was the dining hall. Perhaps because I realized this and was relieved, I was suddenly unable to see again. I searched blindly along the wall for the light switch. Then finally I felt a familiar shape. Wouldn't it be annoying if I pushed this and the light didn't come on? Click. In fact, it was nearly the opposite, and an annoyingly bright light filled the dining hall and made my eyes hurt. I slowly opened my tightly shut eyes. And then, I saw the state the room was in. Oh god! The dining hall was covered in blood. Here and there were humans lying on the floor. Then, she realized the two of them were her own parents. Ah, I'm betting you this is symbolizing that no matter what, they are dead. Any kids who aren't having a good time will get eaten. The hall was alive with a mingling of humans and residents of the magical illusion. 
At first, everyone stayed with their own groups, too nervous to mingle. However, as time passed, people started to move around, and both halves began to chat happily together. Oh my god! <laughs> this is fucking glorious! Everyone listened intently to the Vegeta lot. The. Um, I'm sorry. The Vegeta Lion's theory on leadership. I said. I'm sorry. My DBZ senses were kicking in there. This was after several rounds of drinks had gone by and everyone was unnaturally focused on the conversation. She's kind of like a jealousy Hulk. Wait. Je yeah. <laughs> you must become Ronove's student, Goda. Ah? Oh my god. The seven sisters had blended into the party perfectly and were making things interesting. No shit. <laughs> I can't agree with you more there, Willard. I am loving these interactions, just gonna say it right now. Everyone chimed in on Will's theory on mystery novels. The conversation kept on going. Okay, who are, wait, I need to figure out who you're talking to. Um... Uh... Gertrude? <laughs> Oh, and Belphegor? Kisokno, I bet not, Mammon. あなた、いい根性じゃない。連獄の七姉妹ってお給金どのくらい。うちの主人の会社に入りなさいよ。推薦してあげるから。Oh <laughs> my god. The humans and the residents of the illusion were now completely on casual terms. なるほど。you having fun, Nazi? Oh my god. No! Thanks, Satan! Nazi 
コナン、サタン。ええ。夏日さんに向かって、なんて失礼な。ええ。な、なんで泣き出すんですか。Will you hurt her feelings, Virgilia? サタン、私、そんなに厳しく叱りましたか。シエスタ四一マルさん。純粋な母に。二度と妙なことを吹き込まないように<笑>大丈夫後にならない程度に加減してありますから Did you just pinch her ass? 410 started yelling about animal abuse jumping around in circles and holding her <笑>私のアズメはどこかにいないかなアズメはね燃えるような恋がしたいの、uh... 恋をしたらマリアも素敵なお姫様になれるかな Yes! The circle surrounding Beato was always a lively one. Okay, who are you talking to? Delanor? No! Oh my! Indeed. A bit shakily, Lambda Delta started talking about her theory of life. Apparently, she's also had her fair share of champagne. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Balor came back into the hall. He was searching for a servant, and the first one his eyes met was Shannon. Hi, Patra Sama. Will you be the Shoka? Marine Dagasa. ん客間でございますかマスターキーでも開きますが何か。いや、エンジはマスターキーでも開きますが何かいや、エンジは眠ってるかなと思って客間に鍵がかかってたんだ。鍵ですか私たちはエンジ様を Ah,まさかエンジのやつ。自分だけ仲間外れにされたと思って、内側から鍵を閉めていじけてやがんのか。やれやれ。お開けしましょうか。そうだな。すま。頼めるか。Valor and Shannon left the hall together. In the hall, Land the Delta started suggesting that they all have another quiz tournament together. Apparently, the Witch of Certainty would be handing out prizes. Everyone seemed enthusiastic about the idea. Smiling contentedly at the ensuing uproar, Butler headed towards the parlor. Mmm. <laughs> Oh boy, I wonder who we're going to be meeting on the other side of the door. Either nobody or burn. Balor knocked on the door and called Angie's name. However, there was no response from the other side. He pressed his ear against the door, listening carefully, but there was no hint of Angie unhappily throwing a cushion at it. Or wait, or maybe Erica's behind the door, who knows? <laughs> Shannon took out her master key and unlocked the door. Then she stepped back to let Battler go through. Enjoy. 
Hide all. Speaking in a quiet voice to avoid waking Angie, if she was asleep, Badler opened the door. Then, just as the door was opened, a chilly breeze drifted by. The breeze, which felt like outside air, immediately caught the attention of the pair, and they looked at each other. They could be seen at a glance that Angie wasn't in the parlor. The curtains to the wide open window fluttered about. Angie. Angie. A blanket lay crumpled up on the sofa. It sat there just as Angie had left it after waking up. The blanket was slightly warm. Clearly, she had been here until a short while ago. She obviously wasn't playing hide or hide and seek. Angie was nowhere to be seen in the parlor. Balor peered out the open window into the rainy blackness. So, she slipped out the window in this rain and went. where? Yep. She couldn't have left from the main entrance, so she probably doesn't have an umbrella. It was very hard to imagine a reason Angie might have f have for going outside in this weather. I have a bad feeling about this. This shouldn't be happening. I'm the game master of this game board. So why are we in a situation that the game master can't understand? A large bolt of lightning lit up the surrounding area for an instant, but I was unable to see any trace of Angie. Are we back to Angie's perspective, I guess? Ah, oh, damn it, I gotta write this stuff down. Okay, third. Okay, we gotta. Ah, eh, fuck it. It takes 30 minutes to eat one whole cake, so. Oh, this is just a math problem. I could probably. Eh, fuck it. At that moment, there was a roar of thunder and the lights flickered. The cheery voices vanished in an instant, like candles being blown out. Uh oh. Amidst the silence, one voice rang out and answered Lambda's riddle. Oh! Hi, Burn! The crowd parted in the form of a girl, a thousand year old witch, came into view. She had been invited. She was an official guest holding an invitation to this party. Uh, as Burn Costle spoke, she looked around at everyone. <laughs> she stared at Leon and Will with an unnerving smile on her face, but she apparently lost interest quickly. Uh, welcome? なるほど。これは奇跡というわけだ。うまいこと言うじゃない。何をみんな静まり返っているの? <笑> Well, to be fair, we thought you would be very fucking pissed. And you clearly have something going up, on your, up under your sleeve, so... わざとらしいくらいに賑やかにしてちょうだい。それとも、私を沈黙で迎えるという余興なの今度はお前の番だ。何がバトラーはどこだとお前は尋ねた。だから俺はここだと答えた。次はお前の番だ。何の話だ。Where's she was unless obviously she would be technically Burns piece. <clears throat> Two Game Masters? Eh? 
私も驚いてるわ胸がすくような楽しいゲームを始めようとゲーム版を広げたら全く同時にバトラもおかしなゲームを始めていたというわけゲームマスターが2人なんておかしなこともあるもそれはつまりお前がエンジェをどこかに隠したと認めたということだな<笑>そうなるなゲームマスターのバトラの描いていないシナリオが生み出せるのはもう一人のゲームマスター殿しかいないということになるのだからうーんパーティーを盛り上げる催しの準備ってやつ Well, I imagine so. ラムダたちはクイズ大会で楽しく盛り上がってたわねだから私もそれに加わることにしたわ Oh god, none of the quiz thing, please no エンジェはその人質のつもりというわけかそういうことよバトラベアットあなたたちにゲームを挑みたいの拒否権はないわエンジェが大事な妹ならね何が望みだあんたとベアトをめぐるゲームで私はラムダと賭けをしていた yeah. それには私は負けたことを認めなくてはならない少なくともラムダにはね<笑>ベルンってドライゾーに見えてなかなか執念深いのね Would it be insulting or outright rude if I just said she's kind of a sore loser? つまりこういうことでしょ私には負けたけどバトラやベアトに負けたわけじゃない It seemed as though Burn Costo might smile. However, she didn't. Those cold eyes spoke without words. Battler understood. He had played so many games against Beato. Those games had been a merciless me me a wordless message from Beato. So he knew. He understood. Um, yep. わかっておるエンジェをベルンカステル教のおもちゃにさせるわけにはいかぬ。Yeah, we have to avoid that at all costs. Beato understood as well. She understood why Burn Costa was asking for one final battle. ベルンが先生堂々となんてね。笑えば。どうしてありがとう。<laughs> Lama Delta understood as well. Before the tale of Battler and Beato ended, before everything was locked away in the cat box, Burn Costa would finally move from the audience to the stage. That witch who had hidden off to the side of the stage, unwilling to come out into the light, would now show she had the courage to step forward onto the stage itself. As a friend, Lambda Delta showed that she understood Burn Costa's human emotions, which had given her this courage. What does she need to do? What does she need to do? What does she need to do? いいわよそのゲームに参加したらエンジェを解放することを約束できるならね I can agree to those terms. 当然であるぞその約束がないならばそなたの茶番に付き合う義理などない義理はないけどエンジェは戻らないわよならばそなたは負け犬の楽園を数百年間のんびり楽しむこととなろうぞ<笑>ベアド、挑発はよせ。引けない勝負だ。From the moment a hostage was taken, their ability to negotiate had disappeared. Yeah, we're kind of screwed in this. However, Lunda Delta was making Burn Costle promise to release Angie in exchange for her agreeing to become an observer. Without that promise, Burn Costle would have nothing to lose. To make this final fight, Burn wanted a proper one. Lambda Delta made her agree to that promise. See, now that can easily be portrayed as a bit of a word game. By release, you obviously would, you could probably mean that you're just going to kill her. 
書かされた恥は絶対に相手を後悔させるまで許さないんだから。Lambda Delta spoke in a soft, threatening tone. However, Burn Costal laughed lightly as though the look on Lambda Delta's face was merely cute. 時間は私たちの友情にかけて。キュン。Lambda Delta whistled and grinned. Apparently, this was the most reliable oath Burn Costal could utter. Lambda Delta nodded, looked between Battler and Burn Costal, and spoke. After Battler and Beato nodded at each other, they nodded at Lambda Delta to show their determination. It was, well, inevitable. Baller vaguely remembered her speaking to him, somewhere in an unconscious world he couldn't remember. At the time, it had sounded like she was giving him advice for his fight with Beato. But thinking back on it, <clears throat> it was a little different. She might have been a cat fighting from the sidelines, too scared to go out into the bright sunlight. So, I had a vague premonition that, eventually, we would stand opposed to each other on the game board in some way. So, you know, the least you could do is bring her back. Yeah, kind of a dick move there, Burn. Bring her back! エリカを傍客の深淵から救え、そしてこのパーティーに招け。エリカを救う。Yes。わらわもバトラに同じだ。あやつは敵方の駒なれど、その役割に忠実であったに過ぎぬ。ギブアデアムグッオポネント。攻
Burn calls to snapped her fingers, and a black cat slipped out of her shadow. Hey, we got plenty of stuff here. When she gave this order, the cat melted into the darkness. It's bell jingling. Yeah, I figured as much. Hmm? You're not even gonna have her as your piece anymore? ベルンカステル。ふん。これ以上いじめることもあるまいぞ。ベルナフ。そうだな。ならば。いつものあの場所しかないだろうぜ。Oh, that'll be easy for those two. Excellent! When Balor snapped his fingers, space shattered. <coughs> okay. I thought it was going to end right there. That, that threw me off. They were now in the smoking room of the witches, the place where witches had once debated, schemed, and reasoned all they could. Burncastle had been invited there once again, and the final game would now begin. Oh, excellent. Game Master バトラとベアとはプレイヤーということね。ベルンが殺人ゲームの物語を語り、プレイヤーの二人が人間のトリックで最高値できるかを挑む。いつものゲームね。ベルンカステル教の描く Oh? A quiz of guessing the culprit. What? Huh? Burncastle held her palms upward and a palely glowing fragment appeared there. Lama Delta brushed it with her hand and shut her eyes. Really? What? A game about humans? Uh, yes, because this will be confusing. Sorry. 
推理小説だってことなのかな、oh, I didn't see that coming. なるほど。となれば、赤と青の真実のつばぜり合いなど、あ、damn。不要ということか。Damn it, that was my favorite! In Beato's games, the argument was about whether it was a mystery or not. However, Burn Castle's game was a mystery. There was no need to argue that from the start. What? Huh? That does seem simple enough, I guess. そうだな。何の小細工もない。うん。ストイックなまでにシンプルだ。うん。これは正真正銘の決闘である。立ち会い人として宣言するわ。Okay。このゲームは解けるようにできている。This game is made to be solvable。つまり、あんたたちの決闘の舞台として公平であることを保証する。Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. More than likely, it will be enough to stump me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. So, so they got a little too zero cut doka. Tada, so that I can simple the game under. Lavada, Arigato, Oma no Kakade, Konoke Toga, say, say, do do to Stamono de Arbuto, show me Santa. No, it does him a step, but as no receiver. ベルンが挑むというこの貴重な戦いに立ち会わせてもらえるなんて光栄よそなたを対戦相手に迎えられわらわも光栄だ私もよあんたを見下してた勝負の場にでもせずにねそんなそれまでの自分に虫ずが走る<笑>だから決闘させてうん受けて立とうぞ私が勝ったら今度こそあんたを思いっきり見下してあげる。We shall see. そしてもし私がきっと忘れているに違いないあの感情を思い出させて。うん、ベルンカステルお前が勝とうと負けようと。これ何この決闘が終わったら俺たちは友人だ。Hmm. <laughs> nope, keep laying on the sentimentality. It'll piss her off even more. <laughs> Lambda clapped her hands. A pleasant sound rang out. Huh? ロードクノミコは自分の口を通して物語を脚色することも歪めることもできるたとえ私のゲームに小細工がなくとも朗読の術でいくらでもそれをすることができるふん、huh. I guess you're right about that そうであるなそれもまたゲームマスターの権利の一つだあんたたちとしたい決闘はシンプルでありたいのだから朗読者はいらないあなたたちが自らの目と耳で物語を読みなさい OK いいのそれじゃベルンに有利なことがなくなっちゃうじゃないわかった朗読者はいらない俺たちが自分で物語を読む朗読者がいないということはいわゆる物語のとがきに一切の虚偽が混じらぬということか。It is a straightforward mystery. 受けて立つ。ベルンカステル。<笑>何の小細工もない。正真正銘のミステリーの一騎打ち。
お前の正々堂々俺たちも正面から受け止めてやるありがとう負けないわよ私もそれではダメであるなベルんああそうだなミステリーを突きつける魔女はそんな態度じゃダメだぜああ全然ダメだなあ、ah, I was waiting for that phrase Burn Costa realizing what Balor and Beato were asking for snorted Lambda Delta nodded at her telling her to enjoy this final duel to the fullest バカバカしいわ。笑えるわ。あんたたちの仲良しミステリーが私の用意したミステリーに通用するかどうか試してあげる。受けてみなさい。私のミステリー。そうでなくては奇跡の魔女ベルンカステル教の挑戦状確かに